I know that I've been MIA this last past week, but it was kind of busy between work and Christmas shopping and what else? I don't know. But it's been busy, I will say that. But I'm back this week and I wanted to show you guys my favorite hairstyles that I like to wear when I'm natural. And if you haven't already guessed what that is, it is the bun. The buns get me through a lot of uh, rough days. It's just so easy and so effortless to do. You can do it in less than five minutes. It's just, it's been a lifesaver for me. I prefer the bun over a lot of other hairstyles. There's a lot of reasons why I love buns. Number one being the fact that it's very easy to do in the morning. I'm very low maintenance and I like to just get shit done fast. <laughs> in addition to it being very fast and easy to do, it, it really helps my hair to grow because I'm not bothering it all the time. I'm not using heat on it. I'm not doing a whole bunch of other stuff to it. I'm just sticking it in a bun and leaving it alone. I want to show you guys a couple of the different types of buns that I like to do. Before I start, let me just say and let me just acknowledge that, yes, and as you can tell, I'm not wearing any makeup. And the reason why I decided not to put any makeup on is because I wanted to keep it all the way real with you guys. I don't wear makeup every day. And not to say that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just not real for me. It's not something I do every day. And so I wanted to be a little different and come to you guys in the nude. Let me not say in the nude because I did do my eyebrows and I am wearing a little bit of mascara and I am wearing some lip balm on my lips. So I am wearing some makeup. But no, more importantly, I just wanted to keep it all the way real with you guys because I'm not an everyday makeup wearer. I don't wear it every day. I just like to give my skin some time to breathe. And so I just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there. Without further ado, let's get started on these buns. So let's get started. My hair is so crazy, but I mean, I'm just keeping it real with you guys. So this is what my hair typically looks like before I throw it in a bun. This is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to tame this at all. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my number one. This hair is just all over the place. So the bun that you guys have been seeing a lot in my videos is the high bun or top knot or whatever you wanna call it. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna do for you guys. The first thing I'm gonna do because my hair is kinda dry and parched, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with some water. So I'm just gonna coat it, just give it a light mist so that my hair is nice and damp. And this is not something that you absolutely have to do, but if your hair is as dry as my hair is right now, go ahead and wet it. The next thing I do is take some moisturizer and I'm using my lot of body um, cook. Always dropping something, it just never fails. So I'm taking a good amount of that and I'm mainly just focusing it on the ends because as we all know, our ends is the most delicate part of our hair and it needs the most attention. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab some of my oil and I use the sweet almond oil and I'm just using that to seal in that moisture and again I'm focusing that on the ends as well so I'm gonna begin to brush my hair up and I'll grab my hair gel and this is the gel that you've seen in my top hair care products and I'll put all of that on the top of my hair and I'll take a little bit more and then put it on the back and then from there, I'll take a, I'll take my bristle brush and brush the rest of the way, just to further smooth my hair down. So once I got the hair up and nice and smooth, I'll go ahead and grab my hair tie and then I'll just place the hair. Try not to pop your rubber bands. I do it all the time. I hate it. Try not to make it too tight because your scalp will hate you for it and so will your edges. Everything's nice and smooth. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab my hair donut 
Now, if I'm not using this donut, I'm using a sock. You can achieve the same exact thing with a sock. And so you would cut the toe off and just roll the sock up until it looks like this. The next step is to simply take your take the donut and place it right over my ponytail, just like that. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and form my bun. And so there's several ways that I like to go about forming the bun, but the most easiest way to do it for me is to simply separate my hair evenly around the donut until it looks something like that. And then I'll take another hair tie and just fit it over the bun, just like that. And then I'll pull slightly on the bun to loosen it up a little bit to make it a little bigger. Shape it the way I want it shaped. And then with the excess hair, I'll just wrap it around. Wrap it around and under the bun. At times it is a bit crooked, but adjusting it is really no biggie at all. And lastly, I'll take that toothbrush and I'll pull down some of my baby hairs. Just a little bit, I don't go too crazy with the baby hairs, but I just like to um, pull a little bit down. So that is how I achieve this top bun here. Let's get to the next one. This is the one that I've been wearing a lot lately that I absolutely love. I'm gonna take a comb and part straight down the middle. Then I'm gonna take some more gel and place it on my hair just like this. Then I'm gonna take my bristle brush and brush to the back. And that's another good thing about moisturizing your hair before you start because you will see the benefits. My hair has a lot of shine to it. The gel is also good because the gel has some shine properties in it as well. So I'm brushing into a low ponytail. This is what we have here. Get my hair donut out. Place my hair into the donut just like that. Then I'm gonna take the hair and spread it around the donut just like I did with the high bun. Stick the scrunchie over it just like that. Wrap the loose ends around the bun. I think I have all the hair in there. If not, this is just for demonstration purposes. I think I did a fairly good job not being able to see. I like to pull a little bit of baby hairs down in the front, taking a little bit of gel to do that. That's it for bun number two. You can like wear this bun when you're dressed up in a formal gown or you can wear it to work on a casual day. It's just so versatile and I just like the way it looks. For the third bun, I decided I'm not gonna show you guys that because it's really the same thing that you see here minus the part. All of the other steps are the exact same except for we're not parting the hair in the middle. We're just brushing, brushing everything back with my bristle brush, placing it in a ponytail, putting the hair donut onto the ponytail, same exact steps. Those are the three buns that I like to go back and forth with and they're just so easy. You guys saw how fast and easy they were to do. I wear a bun almost every day, like literally. And, and it's especially good for those of you who are transitioning and you're right in between that rough patch where it's like your two textures are not really getting along. Your natural hair and your relaxed hair are like, boxing it out because they're not getting along. This is a style that's really good for, I'm sorry, I'm thirsty, I'm gonna take some water. This is a style that's really good when you're going through that because that's a really rough time. I, I've been there and a lot of us who are natural have been there so we know what that's like, but buns, holy grail. It's my holy grail, it's what got me through my transitioning phase and it really didn't leave me at all because as you see, I'm still wearing it and so, Embrace the bun, embrace the bun, hashtag bun life. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on my favorite buns. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Very easy to do, can be achieved in less than five minutes. Very good for the hair, it's an awesome protective style. 
and it's just dope. I'm a bun girl for life. If you want to see any other types of hair tutorials from me, comment below and I'll see if I could try to do some of those for you guys. If you are interested in keeping up to date with my videos, if you are enjoying them, hit that subscribe button right there. Okay, so why y'all didn't tell me that my part is not straight? I mean, it's a straight part, but it's a little off-centered, right? It still looks good. I'm not taking it out. Okay.